In this video, we're going to be building some curtains and curtain rods for my camper van. The first thing you're going to need is some fabric material to use for the curtains. These L brackets will be used to hang our curtain rods which are going to be made from these wooden poplar dowels. For my large side window, I'm going to be using two 4 foot wooden dowels, one for the top and one for the bottom. The L brackets will be screwed into the butt ends of these dowels, but to prevent the wooden dowel from splitting when we set the screw, I'm going to be drilling some pilot holes into the ends. The drill bit I'll be using is about half as thick as the screw. I'll be temporarily fastening the L brackets to the dowels so that I can mark their position on the wall and know where to drill the holes to mount them. Before mounting the curtain rods, I want to round off the edges of these L brackets so they don't snag the curtain material. Now we can go ahead and mount the brackets, and if you want the brackets to be a little bit more secure, I'd suggest using something like these drywall anchors to add some strength. With the curtain rods built, now we can start on making the curtains. I start by measuring out the length of my window and I add about 6 inches of fabric. Once I cut out that full length, I split that length in half so I can have two panels for the one window. This fabric came folded in half already, so I'm just going to run one stitch down the open side, and that'll turn the open folded panel into a tube shape. To determine where to run the stitch, I measured the distance between the two curtain rods and added about an inch. One rod goes through the top. I went through the bottom. And now I can go ahead and feed the curtains onto the curtain rods and reattach the rods to the L brackets. and I'll be using this scrap of fleece from another project to tie off the curtains. And I just repeat that process to make curtains for my other windows as well. That's all there is to it. It was a pretty quick video, pretty quick project, and only took about an afternoon to complete, and I'm pretty happy with the results and how they turned out. I hope maybe this gave you some ideas on things you can do with your van. If you have any of your own suggestions or ideas for curtains, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below, and I will see you guys on the next video. If you'd like to follow along with the rest of our adventures, make sure to subscribe, and to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos, click the notification bell as well.